Hi, this is Brian. Today we're going to talk about Subaru cylinder heads and checking for any types of leaks or things that are going to cause problems later on, like a cracked head or if you have valve problems or just uh, some simple tests you can do without any fancy equipment um, to just make sure things are okay. Um, especially if you had a bad overheating problem, if it's not just a mileage gasket fail, but if you overheated and blew a head gasket, you want to check and find detail all around each of these little spaces between the valves. What I'm talking about specifically, like here it's pretty thick. Here it's a little bit thin, but reasonably thick. Here it's quite thin. a of aluminum. You want to check for cracks. Um, if you fail a water test, you know, another thing that you can do to test these is to do the flashlight test. I've got a dark room that's really sealed off, and I'll take, see for example, I stick this flashlight up into uh, the exhaust place uh, where the exhaust port is and you can see the light coming through here. If you had a crack or a bad valve or it wasn't seating well you can see that little uh, sliver of light there. It'll kind of reveal itself but only if it's really big. That's why I do the water test. Some people even use brake parts cleaner because it's even thinner than the water is. So that's just another thing to inspect for is any cracks in there. A qualified machine shop will have somebody that can weld that and regrind it for you. It's usually about a hundred bucks to get a crack or something filled. I hate seeing cracks. It always makes me nervous after that, but uh, fortunately here we're in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the uh, comment section below. If you like the video, click like and always subscribe. Thanks for watching.